Yeah. Everybody seems to be running around tonight uh, uh, asking the solution to their own pet problem with the uh -huh. so I'll ask mine. Okay. And sure. that is, uh, <laughs> you as an economist, I think, must understand uh, how the freedom of movement around the country is related to a system of roads. Yeah. That's one thing I don't really see a good libertarian solution. What, fiber roads? Yeah. I don't see what the problem is. The English network of roads in the 18th century was, was all private. Uh -huh. And uh, turnpikes, the toll roads, you can see that. This is we'll have private collection of toll, tolls as government. Uh, and then streets are going to be run in all sorts of ways. All sorts of ways in which the uh, street uh, companies collect, uh, collect income. So Broadway becomes a private... Well, I don't know. It depends on, yeah, I mean, I don't, it depends how the, uh, the market would work it. I don't know what the unit, of, the technological unit would be. It has to be worked out by the market. It could be the whole of Manhattan, or it could be one neighborhood. There's all sorts of po possibilities that just we dictated in advance. It's the whole thing about the market. You have to see what the market, how the market develops the institution. But, uh, yeah, there would be, I mean, there would be, be streets which are, I mean, one way to do it, one way to finance it, by the way, is to have a sticker, you know, on the, on the, on the, in your car. You buy a sticker which gives you the right to drive in certain, let's say, in the rush hour period. You pay a market clearing price for the sticker, and this eliminates congestion in rush hour. A beautiful way of doing it. In New York City, there's two, first of all, they, they, of course, they don't have much, either they have zero fees or very low parking fees, they have big congestion. And then the mayor says, we got to ban all private cars from New York from Manhattan. So there's typical government and actually you subsidize something or you prohibit it. <laughs> There's no kind of concept. Maybe you let the market do it. You know, have the market have private and competing private enterprise, and let them work out the pricing arrangement. It's the only rational way to do it anyway. It's only because we've been locked into a situation for a couple of centuries of government roads that we can't conceive of how it would work. It's very much as if, for some kind of some kind of uh, uh, custom, customary historical reasons, the government is the sole monopoly producer of shoes. That's it. Everything else is free, but the government uses all the shoes. And if I came up and said, I think we should have a privately competitive shoe or shoe industry, and you could easily say, hey, that's a terrible thing. You want people to go unshod, and who would produce shoes? How many would they be? How many firms would they be? Who the hell knows? You wait, let the market rip and let, them, let the market decide.